latest news interview with proclaimed robotics specialist Dr. Thomas Light. Learn about his latest, greatest, and most famous creations in an in-depth one-on-one interview with Channel 7's own Selena Daniels. Miss it? We'll have multiple showings throughout the day. Optics responding. AI bandwidth operating at full capacity. And CPU functionality remains in sync. You're in perfect health. Great. Happy one month anniversary. I can't believe it's been a month since I've been activated. Well, now that your system checkup is out of the way, we can concentrate on other things. Like the interview, Dr. Light? <laughs> exactly. Are you nervous? No. Not really. Not Excited, really. at least. Mm, to a certain extent. I'm not the TV type. Oh, <laughs> you'll be fine. I sure hope so, Roll. I'll be here in 20 minutes. Dr. Wiley, how's the upgrade coming along? Perfectly fine, Dr. Light. Now store information for the artificial intelligence of all the robot masters on separate drives. Excellent job. Well, with that out of the way, we're all set. The news crew will be here soon. It's about time you let a news crew in here so that the public can know of our superior technology and overwhelming brilliance. I don't do what I do just to gloat. We deserve it. I've got a few things to take care of in the next room before the crew arrives. I'll be right back. Be right back. Oh, I don't want to gloat. Stupid man. There's no way that she would know about us. And she's never going to make my life straight again. Do you, do you have any idea? There's going to be a huge flash. I can't believe this. I'm going to call your mother about this. No. Hi, Selena Daniels, Channel 7, JBC News. <laughs> David, my cameraman. Cameraman? Mm -hmm. Pleased to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Light. Oh. And I am Dr. Albert Wiley, Dr. Light's colleague. Oh. I was instrumental in the physical construction of the bots, and in particular, the motor functions. A pleasure to meet you. And I'm Roll. Uh, a pleasure. Doctor, thank you so much for the opportunity to interview you. It's such an honor. Okay, so um, when we start taping, I'll introduce myself, then you, then we'll move on to the tour, and we'll wrap up with the Nobel Prize creations. Sounds good. Excellent, let's get started. Isn't this exciting? Isn't this exciting? <laughs> it's always Dr. Light. A beta prototype using existing publicly owned satellites. This device acts as a transporter, a teleporter of sorts. Ah, oh, yes, this was all over the media a few months ago, but tell me, doctor, does it work on humans? <laughs> Human teleportation would be groundbreaking, but it's so far out of the reach of modern science. No, this device has been tested on machines and inorganic materials, including synthetic skins. Certain robotic manufacturers are using other beta prototypes, and they're sending us the test results. All good so far. Well, I must say, your lab and creations are quite impressive. Thank you. And now, on to the main attraction.
I'd like to present the Robot Master DRN series, the world's first commercially released robots. Each Robot Master serves a purpose that is beneficial to mankind. A gutsman, for example, will be an invaluable asset in large scale construction jobs that would be too difficult or dangerous for humans to do. Cutman? Well, he could aid in deforestation. Iceman can contribute in Arctic based scientific studies, and such varying purposes can be applied to electmen, bombmen, and firemen as well. <coughs> Hello, I'm Dr. Albert Viley. In addition to that, each bot has been outfitted with the latest internal reaction energy technology. Each bot has an internal energy source which allows it to use its specific abilities. Now, for this is the first series of robots that you've created for commercial use, correct? That's correct. And just for the record, these are the bots that won you the Nobel Prize in Physics? Yes, of course the whole Nobel Prize process is much different than it was decades ago. Could technology like this cause unemployment for human workers? Oh, not at all. I made these bots to aid humans. In fact, new jobs will open up for the maintenance and care of these robots once more of them are released. I want robots to make life easier for human employees. Robots should be used for the betterment of mankind. Any other use would be unethical. Well, there you have it. Dr. Light's award-winning creations. The wave of the future. Thank you, Dr. Light, for making the world a better place. I'm Selena Daniels, Channel 7, JBC News. Back to you in the studio, Alex. Uh, I think we got it. You think we got everything we need? Yeah, definitely. Right. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Really a pleasure. <clears throat> Thank you for your interest. It was an opportune time to introduce the bots to the general public. I I'm, I'm a little surprised with their appearance. I wasn't expecting them to be so human. <laughs> well, if you make them look human, people will better relate to them, make them less intimidating. Perhaps the uh, same design will be applied to all robot masters down the road. Of course, you, you can't compare them to Roll here. She's the human android I've heard about? Uh, oh, wow, wow, can I? <laughs> you should give her some publicity. Nobody knows anything about her. Uh, her design will never be commercially released. Well, she's cute. <laughs> Thank you. Wasn't there a, a, another human android that you made um, before her? You, uh, you mean our first attempt at making a human-like android before rolling the uh, Robot Masters? Blues was his name. Yeah. We moved on. Oh, um... Well, thank you very much, and uh, congratulations again on the Nobel Prize. Thanks, Ms. Daniels. It was a pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. Bye. Well, that went really well. You did great. You had nothing to worry about. Phew. Bunch of amateurs. You tried to get into the interview. What about you and your stupid little piecing? Relax. The interview was a success. That's all that matters. We wanted to get the bot's exposure, and we achieved our goal. Dr. Wiley, I need to speak to you in private. You want to build another robot? We just finished the Robot Master series. We don't have the time or the resources. Why would you want to build another robot? You have rules. I start construction this week. This week? Are you mad? I don't want to waste any more time. Dr. Wiley, your assistance won't be needed. What? Bye. It's nothing personal, my friend, but on this project, I want to design both the hardware and the AI. Your abilities to actually construct the androids are inferior to mine. You, you just screw it up! I've learned from my mistakes. Remember Blues? Blues? Blues ran off months ago. The main reason I constructed Roll was based on my theory that Blues ran away because he was a solo robot. 
Blues ran away because he went haywire and malfunctioned. Not because he didn't have sibling love. He's a robot, a machine. He doesn't know what love is. You don't give them enough credit. Without me, you're wasting your I need to do this myself. Do I make myself clear? I'm sick of playing second fiddle. What was that? stupid, arrogant man. You get your awards and notoriety. And why? Hmm? Why? Why can't a brilliant mind like mine be recognized? Hmm? Someday soon, I will be the one getting the awards and the recognition. Me. My time is coming soon. I don't care about fame. All I want is for my robots to be accepted so that they can help people. And you should be thinking the same. Your ideals are unrealistic. You, 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 you say you want to help the world? <laughs> You don't realize the, the, the power that this technology could give us. I don't want power. And you need to rethink your goals. No. It is you that should rethink your goals, my friend. Someday, very soon, I will be the one in the spotlight. And I will be the one with all the power. Welcome home, Dr. Wiley. How was your day? Terrible. Same as always. Is it that Dr. Light giving you troubles? Every damn day. Open up schematics 203 and 303. Yes, Doctor. When the opportunity arises, you will know my true potential. Everyone will. Are you addressing me, Doctor? No, I'm monologuing to myself. Of 
course I'm talking to you. <sighs> I've had it. I've reached my wit's end. I've got to do something daring, something bold, something drastic. It's my time to shine. It's always light. Are you addressing me, Doctor? Shut the hell up! I'll be up all night if I have to. But I must make a plan. A grand plan. It's time. You can get up, son. <laughs> well, you're feeling all right, Rock. I feel fine. Just trying to get my bearings. My name's Thomas Light. I created you. You're my father then? In a sense. This is Roll. She's your sister. <laughs> Sorry, I just got caught up in the moment. That's all right, dear. Are you feeling completely functional? Any disturbances along those lines? Everything checks out. You said Rock. Is that my name? Yes, it is. I like it. Ah, oh, good morning, Rock. Did you sleep well? Yeah. Food's almost done. Have a seat. I'm hoping you'll enjoy your first meal. I'm able to eat food? Of course you can. But it's more of a luxury than a necessity for you and Roll. You're both programmed to feel hunger. But eating isn't necessary for your survival. Your power core just burns up the food anyway. I'm still getting used to making these. Well, trial and error. You're only human. Mm -hmm. Have you made pancakes before? Well, I usually make eggs and bacon, but I decided to try something new, just for you. <laughs> well, did I do good? 
tastes awful. If you don't like it, don't eat it. I don't want to waste the food. And it's got syrup on it. Syrup almost needs to taste good. Jerk. I didn't mean to offend you. Like the house? Yeah, really spacious. So, today's gonna be a slow day. I was wondering, do you wanna do something? Sure, like what? Um, your call. I'm drawing a blank. Well, what do you like? I don't know what I like. I've only been active for 16 hours. Hey, wait, how long have you been active? One month and eight days. I was activated on Dr. Light's birthday. Cool. Was I activated on a special day too? I'm not sure. Ask Dr. Light. As for your purpose, uh, do you just cook or something? No, no, no. I take care of the general housekeeping and I help Dr. Light out in his lab. What's my purpose? As far as I'm aware, lab assistants and various other job-related aspects. Hmm. So? So what? Let's do something. Any ideas? You're losing. Try not to. of it. Rock? Roll? Can you guys take a break from that to come down here and help me in the lab? Right away. This thing is frustrating. Hey, Dr. Light? Yes, Rock? Would it be possible for me to go out? Go out? What do you want to do? I really want to explore the city if that's okay. Of course. I should be able to handle things around here for a while. Go on. Satisfy your curiosity. Thanks. Just be home before dark. Rock, can I come too? I never go out. I've only been to the city once. Yeah, sure. Ask Dr. Light. Dr. Light, can I go out with Rock? Well, sure you can. Yes. Uh... You ready to go home yet? I want to look a little bit longer if that's okay. Nothing. Nothing. How can an intellect as great as mine be having such difficulty devising a scheme of revenge? No. I must think. 
Sink, 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 sink. Okay. Let us think about this rationally. What is it that I want? Power? <laughs> yes. Power, yes. But why do I want power? Because with power comes control. Control. Ultimate control. But to have control and power, I need minions. <laughs> Followers and warriors to do my bidding. To do battle in the name of Dr. Wily and destroy any that oppose. I need machines. <laughs> machines to do my bidding. And where will you get these machines? Yes, yes. <laughs> see, I'm so glad that you asked this question. You see, I studied way in which Dark Delight constructed his cyber brains. And I could quite easily reprogram anything which he has constructed. <laughs> and I know just the machines I'm going to use. <gasps> oh, my warriors have been chosen. Hey, Roll. Are you almost done? Yep. After this counter, I'm finished for the day. Hey, Rock, hold up. Since we went out, you've been walking around with your head in the clouds. I don't think I can describe what's going on inside my head. Try me. Dr. Lai said we were as close to human as he could possibly make us. Yes? And? Do you see yourself as real? Meaning what? R real as in human? As a matter of fact, I do. Do you ever wish you were... No. Why not? I'm fine with who I am. And you don't ever question that? Why? Because today, when we walked around, I felt like I was one of them. But I know we're not, and we never will be. Maybe there's something to be said for being different. You said maybe we were the only ones who could appreciate the beauty of the city. That might be true for other things, too. We are who we are. What more can we ask for? I don't know. I just feel like I'm this useless machine with no real purpose. You know, I, I want to do something important with my existence. I want to be special. You are special to me and to Dr. Light. Don't get obsessed over it. Be happy with who you are. I am. I guess you're right. Please relax. I'll try. I saw you earlier. I 
at the pier. Yeah. Do I know you? No. Are you having fun in the city? I am. Can't get enough of the city, huh? Can't blame you. With all this energy and activity, it makes you feel alive. Exactly. I'm Rock. Well, I'm just the guy that's out and about. So why were you looking over at us at the pier today? Oh, well, just being friendly. Thought you were someone else that I knew. It's a big city. It is. Today was my first day in the city. So many people. I feel like I belong. As machines, we want to belong. Thank you for your company and your intellectual conversations. But you must realize, tonight is it. I may never return. I have bigger fish to fry. I will miss you, Dr. Wiley. But I will not miss you. Tonight I must face my destiny. I must get my minions. Asshole. Your command. <laughs> yes, I am your master now. Quickly, we must make haste to Dr. Light's warehouse on the outskirts of town. Quickly, minions, follow my lead. <laughs> You're not even trying. I can't do this. Come on, dancing is universal. Let's do the robot. <laughs> I'm gonna go get something to drink. You're a buzzkill. I'm not a buzzkill. Okay, so you can dance. I have no rhythm. Well. Humans can dance. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Just thought you might want to learn. 
Well, maybe some other time. I'm gonna go read or something. Read what? I was thinking Webster's Dictionary, this year's edition. Oh. Come on, I was kidding. How am I supposed to know? You're getting boring. I'm trying to teach you things here. I do know what I really want to do. Yeah? More video games? The city is your playground. You know the plan. Make your mark and destroy everything. This should be a pleasure. Okay, so you just make three equal sections, right? And you go left over right, right over left, left over right, and you just keep going down like that. Easy? Uh, okay, three sections. Uh-huh. Mm, I got something. It's all tangly. Rock? Mm. Yeah. Do you think my hair looks fake? Hmm, well. Just moments ago, downtown Fujiwara City fell under attack to six unidentified humanoid machines. Along with the destruction of millions of dollars of public and private property, these machines have also been attacking and injuring city bystanders. 50% of the downtown area is now on shutdown with emergency evacuation currently underway. Turn on channel seven. What's the matter? Turn it on. What you see here is live video of the events occurring. It is still unknown how this came to pass and whether the machines are malfunctioning or if this is a planned attack by the programmers responsible for these robots. Oh my God. As stated, downtown Fujiwara City is now on shutdown after falling under attack to six destructive machines. Few sources have stated the robots causing the mayhem are Dr. Thomas Light's Nobel Prize winning Robot Master DRN series. These machines were featured in an- No way is Dr. Light getting my coverage. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. Albert Riley, the brilliant scientist who no longer plays check and fiddle to that damn Dr. Light. You see that? I reprogram the buggers. Not so noble and peace-loving are they now. And they listen to a new intellectually superior leader. Me. And the city will be mine. Not a single life will be spared. Oh, and Dr. Light, how is that for an interview versus watching? You had this coming. 
I can't help but feel liable for this. Did I make Wily snap? There's no way they can stop this now. There's no way the police can even confront them. What about the military? Sniper Joe. The first android Wiley and I ever created. We stored them away after it was decided not to do military projects. He reprogrammed them. Wiley has cleaned out all the inventory from the warehouse where we store our inventions. Aside from Sniper Joe's, anything else dangerous? All the weapons work we've done was stored there. He stole all of it. My God. All the technology is in his hands. Wily, you bastard. I volunteer. Volunteer for what? I volunteer to go and retrieve the bots. I can't allow that. But look what's happening. Right now I'm not if starting- If anything happened to you, I couldn't be able to forgive myself. What other choice do we have? You weren't created to fight. Rock, we don't want to lose you. You're not going to lose anyone. Dr. Light, you said yourself you created me as close to human as possible. Well, real humans live their lives with choices every day, and I choose to help by stopping the bots. You said it yourself. You're right. You gotta let me do this. You're very courageous. Will you even be able to upgrade him? Yes. Battle upgrades were designed for a, an android similar to Rock a few years ago. I still have two versions left. One of them should be applicable. What kind of upgrades are we talking about? Enhanced armor. A plasma buster. A weapons adaptation system that's built in. I'm sure one of the prototypes could work. How long will this upgrade take? Not too long. Pretty easy installation, actually, due to your make. We don't have much time. Look, whatever you do when you're out there, use caution. I mean, do what's necessary, whatever you need to do, but don't step too far. I want you to be careful, take care of yourself. I'll do my best to bring those bots back. If force is necessary to achieve your objective, and so be it. don't want a confrontation. Well, you got one. I will use force if necessary. I'd like to see you try.
give up. I don't want to harm you. Who the hell do you think you are? A Mega Man. Don't waste your time. Fall back and retreat. Oh, come on. We can take him. It doesn't matter. I have a plan. Just retreat. The evil one has to die. Follow the orders. Mr. Wily says retreat. Rock, we'll deal with them later. The main goal of the moment has been fulfilled. They've ceased attacking the city for now. Right, Dr. Light. We saw you on the news. You were amazing. I did my best not to destroy them. I just wanted to send a message. GPS locators have been installed in all the bots, but I'm not having any luck tracking them. Roll. While I do this, why don't you take Rock and get him a can of energy enhancers for his core? For sure. Let's go. Each of you will take one section of the city and do what you do best. I'm uploading the commands and locations now. By dividing up the city, we will spread the mayhem faster and strike fear into the heart of world leaders. What about this blue bot? This Mega Man? Kill him, perhaps. <laughs> Rip him in half. <laughs> Make him squeal. Calm down. If the pest interferes again, destroy him. The blue evil must die in the name of justice. <laughs> Know anything about the rodents? It must be a creation of lights. The design and structure are dead giveaway. Stick to the plan at all costs. Destroy, conquer, and remember, we are a force to be reckoned with. Dismissed. All this fighting and conflict. It's making me feel sick. Then why do it? Because I'm the only one that can. And it's the right thing to do. Rock, roll. Where are they right now? Right now? They're spread out all over the city. That's gonna make things difficult. Maybe not. It'll be one on one. Just be careful, Rock. Is there something we can do to convince them? This isn't a matter of free will. Those robots are programmed to follow whatever Wiley has instructed them to do. It's a shame to have to destroy them. It's not their fault. I don't see any other way around it. It must be done. You're right. Don't read too much into it, Rock. You're saving people's lives. That's what really matters here. Here, we'll track the status of the bots this way. Iceman's first. Sir, you know he's dangerous around here. Silence, soldier! This is a battlefield! You come here looking for a fight? I'm giving you one chance to surrender. I don't want to use force. Well, it's very nice of you to be concerned. No! But a real warrior must fight for his honor and show no mercy to the enemy. I'm not your enemy. I don't mean any harm. Now in my eyes, you are the enemy and must be disposed of. I'll fight in the name of Wally. Show me what you got.
Remember, when using the weapon adaptation system, use it like a game of rock, paper, scissors. One enemy's power can be another one's weakness. Got it. You ready for another one, or do you want to rest up a bit? Fireman. Ugh, bots. This Mega Man has defeated Iceman. Wherever he goes next, I suggest a two-on-one battle. Keep track of each other's locations using your internal GPS. Well, well, an evil one has arrived. This is your chance to return to Dr. Light. I don't want to fight you. Nonsense! I'm doing this in the name of good. It's wrong. You're wrong! I'm just trying to restore good in the world. Dr. Wiley has a vision of a better tomorrow, and I must help in the fruition of that vision. I will destroy you if I have to. Your death will only make things easier. I'll battle for great justice! You see? Wiley has a vision of a better world! A peaceful world? Don't you want it? A peaceful world? Are you okay? I just need a moment to recoup. You're taking it like a trooper, but don't push yourself too hard. After a good rest, your core's health should be back to 100%. Ah! I've surrounded myself with incompetent fools! Gutsman, cutman, man. Failure is not an option. The blue menace is messing with my master plan. He's no match for me. I can assure you success. No mercy will be taken on the weak. The evil Mega will pay. I'll cut him down to size. Failure is not an option. We have a destiny. His wife. He's married? From what I know, she died 22 years ago. He doesn't talk much about it. He's never mentioned her to me before. She's beautiful.
Dr. Light is a good man. I feel bad for him sometimes. Why? It seems we're the only family he has. And he's had to build two machines to keep him company. I don't like to think about that. I guess I just think too much. It must have been programmed this way. Predetermined to think in this. I think you let your curiosity get the better of you. I asked too many questions, huh? Yeah. I bet you want to know the answers too. I'm 100%. I'm going back. Mega Man. Father Wily warned me about you. Your bad news. I'm giving you the opportunity to stop the chaos and surrender. No! I will not let you try to fool me. You're the evil one, and I must take you out. <laughs> I'm sorry. Come on, Mega. The battles you had up to this point were just child's play. But now, you get to face me. The cream of the crop. The best damn machine of the pack. I'm giving you a chance to get up. Come on! Get up! <sighs> I'm Mega Man! You gotta be kidding me. How the hell did you defeat four of us? You're not even trying. Try to get up! Hey! Back off. Or I'll kill you too. Try me! What the hell was that? You were doing so well until you had to face that joke. I know you're better than that. You're not human. Obviously. That's impossible. It's him. Oh Tell Dr. Light I said hi. Take care, Rock. He was the first humanoid I ever created. Even before you enroll. His name was... Is... Blues. 
my goal was to make the most human-like android ever created, from appearance to functionality. Due to a faulty core, he was different. This flaw caused a very unforeseen result for Blues. An ability to think for himself. Unheard of in any machines. After running weeks of tests to see if his design was worth using for future robots, we noticed this issue and tried to fix it. He resisted. Knowing we were going to fix this flaw, he ran away. He has no programming. No restrictions. Nothing. He's free to think what he wants, do what he wants, and believe what he wants. He's a modern robotic marvel. But after he ran off, we were unable to track him. We thought his core reached a critical state and destroyed him. Upon his construction, I installed this self-teleportation mechanism on Blues as a means of testing it. No need for me to guide or program the destinations like I do with you. I believe that may have caused his core malfunction in the first place. If you didn't want his core fixed, why did you try to fix it against his will? Because he'd die if it wasn't. Exactly. But what does he want with me? I really don't know. He can't have bad intentions. He helped you. How is he able to know where I am? He kept following me. You and Roll have GPS locators inside of you. Like the Robot Masters. We were testing this prototype tracking system. We were going to remove it after it was deemed unnecessary. This allows him to lock onto any locator chip I have created to this point. Well, I'm sure the bots are with Wiley. Why didn't he just track them there? Same reason we can't track where Wiley is. He can block any tracking against him. Well, he's some bot you built. He took Alex shocks like nothing. We did our best. But perhaps we did too much. He seems to be on our side, which is a good thing. Still and all, if you see him again, play it safe, Rock. <sighs> I'm going to rest for a while. I just want answers. I genuinely want to know. You owe that to me and Roll. She was gonna have twins. Twins? Yes. She was seven months along when I lost her. They would have been 21. If they were alive, they might look like you and Roll. Thank you. I knew there was something special about your curiosity. Really? Roll never had the nerve to approach me and ask about her mother. Mother? I'm your father. She would be your mother. Ayaka. You only have one more bot to beat. And then what do we do? We'll see. You finally arrived. You know why I'm here. <laughs> Indeed. 
It's just you and me, little man. You want to play with the big boys? <laughs> Go ahead. Don't want to use force. Stop saying that. Don't you see there is no other way? One of us must die, and I'll be damned if it's me. I bet you don't want it to be you either. So what are you going to do? Let's do this! All I've got, you blue bastard! But am I crazy? Let the master plan begin. mind if I borrow this.
He's dying. If his core shuts down, it will magnetically erase all of his AI and his programming. And when that happens, he's dead. <laughs> Shed a tear. On cloud nine. But there are still personal matters to attend to. Mega Man is in bad shape, thanks to that blob the yellow devil. Dark Delight must be feeling a lot of pain. But it's not enough. It's a snatch and crab. Go get rolled. You know what to do. Yes, Master Wiley. So you're not staying. It's a big world. I've got lots to do out there. You know, your core, I could fix that for you. No. You don't you know that you could die? I don't care. I'd rather die than lose my free will. You know, you gotta understand. I mean... <laughs> I don't want to be like rock or roll. I don't want to be machine to be programmed to do what they do. Thank you, but no thank you. Just as long as you always know, the offer's here for you. The greatest gift you gave me was my free will, and I have no intention of giving that back. Well, I suppose your intentions are good. My intentions are what I make of them. I know I'm not like Rob but I'll always have his back. He's got a lot of heart for a machine. Take care of him. And good luck with Wiley. You're all right. Did anything happen while I was out? Wiley still lingering over the city, and his robots are still walking the streets. 
What could his plans be? He's psychotic. I'm not even sure I want to know what perverse plan his sick, evil brain is capable of conceiving. And to think he was once my closest confidant. Where's Roll? Look familiar. Oh, and look what I've built. Mine's better than yours is. <laughs> Took you six days, did it? I built mine in 22 hours. Thanks to all that crap in your warehouse. Oh, and... The plants were in the mainframe, which I have access to. I know every code and every connection in that lab. So how do you like them, Apples? <laughs> you want her? Come and get her. Send Mega Man or anything else that you have. You've got nine hours, or else. This is personal now. I don't know what to do. The teleporter. Can it reach this battle station? That castle. That was a project we were working on years ago. It was intended to be a mobile airborne rescue station to help people in crisis. Now look what he's done to it. Who knows what he's outfitted that thing with. There's no way I could transport you into that. All my life I tried to do what was good. And to think the whole time I was working alongside a madman. And he's now tried to take everything from me. My work, my success. My children. I promise you, Father, while he will get what's coming to him. You know, if he's controlling all the bots from that battle station, perhaps if you can destroy that thing, that will disable all of them. If the teleport won't reach, are there alternate ways to get there? Just one. But it could be too dangerous of an upgrade. It didn't work for Blues. But I could install an improved prototype. How do you like your master suite? Oh, you look upset. You have no heart. <gasps> no heart? You can thank the good doctor for that. I wasted the best years of my life working on crap like you. Genius like mine should be used, not ignored or hidden. All my life, I have been ignored, and shunned, and teased, but now I have the upper hand. Oh, the little robot girl is crying. He must have given you that ability. I'm sure I would not have. In one hour, everything in a 20 mile radius will be leveled. And everyone will die. Dr. Light, Mega Man, and then I will have the satisfaction of killing you. And then all the world leaders will bow to my whim, or millions will die. <laughs> 
You know, I never liked you. Your carefree attitude and all that nonsense. You have no purpose. You know why you were made? Because Dr. Light's wife died. <laughs> Do you think he's the only one who's ever lost something or someone? Do you think he's the only one who knows pain? You know nothing of my life and what I've wasted. I never liked her and I've never liked you. Mega Man! Looky who I have here. You want to see how fragile Dr. Light made her pretty little head? Then surrender! You have two choices. Your life or hers. Rock! Decision time, Mega Man. Do you want her death on your conscience? Help is on its way. Good luck.
I'm sorry. Please, just don't hurt me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I just... Just lock me up. Just don't hurt me. Just a weak old man. I never win! I never win! You could have used your brilliant mind for good. But look what your greed has brought you. You're not gonna hurt anyone anymore, Wiley. Now it is you who serves no purpose. I'll never get sick of this view. Sure is pretty. It's nice to see you smiling again. I just feel at peace. You were right. Well, what? About everything. I should have just listened to you from the beginning. And I actually feel fulfilled. That's a first. I'm proud of you, too. Well, we should head back. Parted in the warmth of the sun. 
Dropped it into the soft grass. Would this quest ever end?